Like I said earlier, these mantras are descriptive. They describe the truth. They do not prescribe to you how to attain to truth. They tell you when you attain to truth, what your state will be, what your experience will be, what your realization will culminate into. Yathav Vairyu is one of the most powerful mantras. When recited in a state of realization of truth itself, it has a whole new experience, so to speak, behind it. The state of your consciousness reciting Yathav Vairyu in realization of truth that it describes is consciousness speaking to the universe that I acknowledge truth for what it is, as it is and I realize truth as this mantra speaks of. <laughs> Atharathush Ashat Cheet Acha Vangyush Das Dham Nangu Shodhan Naam Angyush Masdai Shatram Cha Aurai Aayin Dreg Apyo Dadad Vastare Yatha means just as Ahu means Lord, Lord of the universe, it means here, the creator of the universe, God. Vairyo means as he wills, as he wishes. Yatha Ahu Vairyo means just as the Lord wishes, just as God wishes. Atha Rathush. Atha means so will. Ratush means, now Ratush is often translated by various different translators as meaning different things, but here is the basic meaning of Ratush as I would like you to understand. It is a person who is conducting religion for the sake of religion. Religion in English, the English word religion comes from the Latin root religere, which means to link back to, to commune back with, to connect with, with what? With the source, with truth. So when you are religious, it means you are connected to the source, you are connected with truth. And in that state, you will make the right judgment. So often Ratush is also translated as being judgment. Sometimes it is translated as being one who conducts religion, one who takes care of religious obligations, religious duties, so-called the, the priest. But it really means that any person who is religious is Ratush. So one who is Ratush will do, will conduct, will operate his or her thoughts, speech and deeds in accord with truth just as the Lord wishes. How? How will that be accomplished by the Ratush? How will that be accomplished by you? Asha Tachit Acha In consciousness of Asha, being attuned with truth, that's how having in sight of reality, that's how. Vangyush das da manango Vangyush manango means vahumana. 
good mind. What does that good mind mean? It is a mind attuned with truth. It is the state of consciousness, conscious of truth, aware of truth, in harmony with truth. That is the state of Vahumana. That's the state of mind which is good. So, Vangyush Dastamanango, when the Ratush, attuned with truth, is conducting himself or herself in accord with Asha, just as the Lord wishes, then that is the state of mind, the good state of mind the Ratush will experience. Dasda means grant, therefore Vahumana will be granted to such a person. And in that, the person will realize or realizes that Shyotanana Ange Vushmastai. All activities, Shyotana means activities, actions, all deeds, thoughts, words, everything comes in Shyotanana. So Shyotanana, Shyotanana means all activities, Ange Vushmastai, are for the universe of Mazda, for the world of Mazda, for the body of Mazda, because the universe is body of Mazda. Mazda is God. But here Mazda means also wisdom. The wisdom which is Asha. The wisdom which is the unified field. The truth by which the universe exists, by which it operates. So all activities, when are made consciously towards that very truth, the truth being that your existence is for the universe of Masta, the universe of God, then you have attained to a good state of mind. 